What's good y'all, my name is Lushi and today I'm gonna break down a dark sample in the style of Palace or Q Beats. So here's FLP, we got 5 sounds, I'm gonna walk you through each sound, show you the presets, uh, show you the MIDI and explain my thought process and show you the effects I added to each sound. So here's the first melody, it is from uh, Keyscape, Celeste Music Box. And here's what it sounds like without any effects on it. So I'm gonna get rid of the top notes first and get rid of this section right here. So basically I start off at the root note and made a C sharp minor chord, just like this. C sharp, E, and G sharp. And I move the middle note out here and also slice the top note right here. And after that, for the uh, last part of the second bar, I added a C sharp a note and the fifth again to make it go like ascend up here. And after that, all I did was uh, control B in this all the way here. So this is what's repeating throughout the whole loop. So for the top melody, I start off at G sharp and making this double note thing right here. And then I went down to C sharp and just building up here and going back to D, D sharp. A little tip is to use the half step right here. So instead of going from C sharp, D sharp, and then up to F sharp, it's not as dark as and going from D sharp to E and back to D sharp. Because since this is a half step, it creates tension, which makes it sound darker. We can also try to pitch it down here and up here. Now this when it's one semitone in between each note, it sounds very like happy or melodic. But yeah, this is the counter melody and all I did after that was controlling being over this for all eight bars again. Before the effects, I start off with an EQ and taking out the low end. After that, I added an Echo Boy. I went to the classics section and chose wider receiver. And after that, I added a Valhalla Vintage Verb, turned down the mix to 18% and turned up the low cut to 160 Hertz. And finally, I added a sketch cassette uh, a bit of color preset and mess around with the mix knobs. So here's what the melody sounds like with the effects on. For the second melody, I went to contact and to the Mallet Flux Bank and chose the Marimba preset. So here's what the melody sounds like without any effects on it. So I start off uh, making this melody by just putting out these chords right here, the C sharp uh, minor chord, I just place it every uh, in the middle of every other bar. After I had it down, I uh, I strummed it, as you can see here on the velocities. So instead of sounding like this, it sounds like this. And when I had these two chords down, I just pressed down some random notes and uh, following my ear basically. And I did this uh, descending melody at the end to add some variation to the loop. For the processing on uh, the mallets, I started off by EQing out the low end, adding some Valhalla and a Echo Boy. I went with the default preset, I turned down the feedback all the way, I changed uh, the echo time to one fourth note and turned down the mix to, to, uh, to the dry a little bit. So here's what the metal flux sounds like with the effects on. For the third uh, pattern, I went with the one shot bass, which is from uh, AJ Was Here's Thersenius Volume 1 uh, one shot kit. It is the nylon guitar bass. And all I did was following the root notes, and at the end of each fourth bar, I uh, made this descending thing 
from G sharp to E back to C sharp, which is the C sharp minor chord again. So here's what it sounds like. And for the fourth melody, or fourth pattern, it's not much of a melody, I went to contact and to the kinetic metals uh, bank and chose the iron H preset. So this is pretty much uh, just like a texture to make the loop more alive kind of. I didn't do much uh, of processing to this, I just added an EQ and took out, yeah, and did this to it. And for the last sound I went to splice to find a phrase to fit the sample. I went to this jazz hop uh, bank and uh, I found this trumpet right here. And after importing it to FL I pitched it down 700 semitones or 700 cents and um, time stretched it to fit the, the BPM of the FLP. And for the mixing, I added an EQ and some reverb. So here's what the trumpet sounds like with the processing and everything, all the changes on. And here's all the sounds and the final loop uh, together. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.